Good evening. I'm Mike Giannopolo. I'm the band director here at the Higgins Middle School, and it's my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of my colleague, Mr. Chris Stone, our choral director, to our seventh grade winter concert. Tonight you'll be hearing from our jazz ensemble, which you see behind me, our select choir, our seventh grade concert band, and our seventh grade chorus. We are very proud of the work that they've put in over the past several months, and we know that you're going to enjoy the show. We're going to start with our jazz ensemble here. This is made up of students from all three grades, six through eight, and this is an audition group. Very, very excited about what they're going to perform for you this evening. You're going to hear a tune called Killer Joe to start the show, and it features Olivia Garvey on alto saxophone, Anthony Perez on trumpet, and Zoe Torres on bass. Second and final selection tonight is a take on a traditional spiritual called Down by the Riverside. The band really enjoys playing this piece of music, and I think you'll be able to tell pretty quickly that they, they really like it. It features Tiana Abreu on clarinet and Aaron Silva on tenor saxophone. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
Good evening, my name is Mr. Stone, and the group that you see before you is our Higgins Middle School Select Choir. Every year about 85 to 90 students from all three grades audition to be in this group. And they work once a week after school, so it's an additional commitment to the school day. The group that you see is a very dedicated group, a very talented group too, because you can see we only take about 30 to 35 students every year. We have two songs for you, to, for you tonight. The first song is called, I Will Rejoice. Our second song this evening before we break to, for the sixth, uh, seventh grade band, sorry, is called Our Gallant Ship. So that I don't forget later, I wanted to thank our piano accompanist for tonight, Mr. John Simmons from the high school. And thank you again for coming out tonight. I'll see you shortly with the seventh grade chorus.
back the way we came by. Just like to say thank you again for your continued support of our performance performing arts program here. Um, as with all of our kids, I'm extremely proud of the students on this stage, our seventh grade band. It continues to be a pleasure to work with them and watch them grow musically. Uh, they've made some tremendous progress over the past several months, and they're very excited to present three pieces of music for you this evening. Typically, I would write little speeches for students to come up and introduce our selections to you, but this time around, I asked them to take a little bit more ownership and write their own concert introductions. So you're going to hear from three band members tonight um, and what they have to say about the music that they are performing. So I'd like to introduce Sam Cahill to come on up. Good evening. My name is Samantha Cahill, and on behalf of the Higgins Middle School 7th grade band, Welcome to our winter concert. We are all glad to be back as seventh graders performing for the first time this year. Tonight we have for you three pieces we have been working very hard on to perform. Each piece is very different and have something special about them. Our first selection is by Gary Gisley, an American composer who works as an instrumental teacher at Madison County Central School. Gisley grew up in Pinellas County, Florida and started playing piano at the age of five. He attended the University of South Florida, where he studied the French horn. The title of the piece we will be playing, Majestica, was inspired by the word majestic, which means to have or display great dignity or nobility. Gazelle composed this piece for, for his eighth grade students of 2006 to 2007 and dedicated it to them. While learning this piece, it has been challenging to us because of the fast tempo. Although it is challenging, it made the piece fun to learn and play. We now present Majestica by Gary Gisley. Thank you. 
Good evening. My name is Sydney Bringa, and our second piece is called Danza de España by Carol Britton Chambers. This piece was fun to learn because we haven't done anything like it. This was also the first piece of music that we have played that has been composed by a female. Carol Britton Chambers got her bachelor's degree for music education from Texas Tech University. After this, she got her master of music and trumpet performance from Northwestern University. Chambers was a middle and high school teacher for several years in San Antonio, Texas. She is the owner and one of many composers of Aspenwood Music. Chambers also composes music for marching bands, school bands, and many others across the United States. We now present Danza de España. My name is Amy Plorn. Our final piece is The Hanging Tree by Robert Longfield. This piece is, a, is from a well-known movie, The Hunger Games, Part 1. Our own band members chose this piece in a process of voting in two rounds. The results were Star Wars in third place, Smoke on the Water in second, and The Hanging Tree as the chosen piece we are playing. Katniss Everdeen, the protagonist in the movie, sings The Hanging Tree. It is a song that Katniss learned from her father and is used as a battle cry. We now present to you Robert Longfield's arrangement of The Hanging Tree.
it, I'll just leave it down. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> Am I just gonna like start talking? Okay. Just cue me on, because I know. And thank you for coming to the seventh grade winter concert. My name is Madeline Hansen, and, uh, and I am a section leader for the Sopranos in the 7 2 course. Before you is a seventh grade course made up of roughly 140 students from all four clusters. We often sing, sing in unison or two and three part harmony. We will be singing three songs for you tonight. The first song is called Hands Cross the Ocean. It is a partner song with a traditional Russian folk tune, Tune Balalaika, where one group will be singing in English and the other will be singing about the balalaika. A balalaika is a three string folk instrument from Russia, shaped like a triangle, and played much like our guitars and banjos. The song calls for peace and harmony across all races and races and nations, a very important sentiment in today's world. Please enjoy Hands Cross the Ocean.
you. My name is Victoria Marks, and I am a section leader for the 7-3 chorus. Our next selection is called Seize the Day. This version is taken from the 1992 Disney musical called Newsies, which has been exper experiencing a strong revival on Broadway since 2012. Set in 1899, the musical follows the Newsies' strike, which follows a true story of children our age forming a union and going on strike against newspaper giants such as Joseph Pauzier and William Randolph Hearst. This song is a triumph of strength and unity, sung in a three-part harmony with two call-and-response sections typical of American music. Thank you, and please enjoy Seize the Day. and I am a section leader for 7-3 Chorus. Before we begin our last piece, I wanted to thank our piano accompanist, Mr. Simmons, on behalf of, of the 7th grade chorus. Our last selection is called The Gospel Ship. Like our first song, it is a partner song. We were, were one group, oh sorry, <laughs> well, one group will continue to sing the opening text, and another group sings Michael Row Your Boat Ashore. The beginning of this song is sung in a gospel style, while the rest of the song is sung as an old African-American spiritual. Spirituals were originally sung by American slaves, expressing the hardships of their lives or demonstrating hope while they endure difficult lives. Many of these songs were sur oh, had survived and preserved as choral arrangements. Thank you again for, for attending tonight's concert.
Yep. Right, right up. Everything. <laughs>